Today, I have some brand new updates regarding the Isles of Yore, a brand new upcoming dinosaur survival game that you should know about, of course, today. Uh, well, the Isles of Yore, if you don't know what it is, to me, it's the underdog of upcoming dinosaur survival games. And if you don't know about it, feel free to check out this video that's on the screen now. It'll tell you everything you need to know about this game and get you up to speed on what the Isles of Yore is. Today, I'm going to be talking about some brand new updates which just shown in the game's Discord server, which feature a whole load of new stuff from some dinosaur animations, AI, and weather and map updates. But other than that, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new, feel free to like and subscribe and join my community Discord server. Other than that, let's just get right into this brand new video. So firstly, for dinosaur updates, we actually have a very small little animation that we have to be sharing today. And this new animation is basically a swimming animation. Or well, to me, it's basically, you know, when you are trying to walk in a pool, but it's not shallow enough, or, but it's not deep enough to swim in. It's an awkward little animation where this guy is basically just, his toes are touching the floor. It's kind of weird. It's kind of that, that in between walking in the water and swimming in the water animation. What do you guys think about it? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I do think it's nice. And it also makes me wonder, is Coelophysis almost done yet? Because we've seen sleeping, we've seen dying, we've seen eating, we've seen walking and running animations. Do we have many more animations left for Coelophysis? I'm pretty sure they won't be. I I'm pretty sure there won't be many animations left to be done for Coelophysis because I don't think the main developer or the only developer wants to be swamped in the development of Coelophysis for the game. But other than that, guys, let me know, what do you think about this brand new swimming animation for Coelophysis? One other brand new thing that we get a glimpse of in this new update is a new AI creature and just AI animations in general. Firstly, we get this new animation or AI pathing for the game, an AI system in a way. This is being developed and this is apparently just an early glimpse or from quick testing. So that means we could be seeing this in a lot better of a form soon, which will be pretty cool. What do you guys think about it? Here it is on the screen now. You can see the pathing that it goes to and then it goes down after looking at a path for a little while which is very nice and it's just a nice way that this guy on his own the lead developer of the game is literally working on this game himself and it's just a very neat little project and of course we see a brand new creature for the game we see an amphibian this isn't the amphibian that we already have in the game this is not diplo Carlos. i'm pretty sure it's diplo Carlos that's in the game this looks like something different this looks like platy stega or platy stega uh, which is another amphibian another big amphibian and it reminds me of that one due to its build what do you guys think will this be a playable new creature in the game feel free to let me know dean if you're watching this video what is this creature what is this amphibian is it going to be another playable or is it just going to be an ai creature that will populate the world of the game <laughs> Now, in this final part, we have some small things to go over. Actually, no, this is the bulk of the video, this final part. We've got some videos and we have some images to go with the map development, the world of this game and the weather in this game. We have a whole lot of brand new things in this update, in this video for you guys to see. And I can't wait to show you these new photos and videos for the game's weather because it looks beautiful. Firstly, look at this screenshot on the screen right now of the open plains with the hills in the background and the snow-capped mountains as well in the background. This looks absolutely beautiful. And then to finish it off, we have that beautiful skybox that looks absolutely realistic and just looks so nice and beautiful. Oh my god, I can't wait to be able to play this game. I wonder how much this game is going to cost considering it's being made by one person and it's not going to have many dinosaurs, but the world for this game is beautiful. What do you think about this image? Because it comes with the next image, which is very similar to this new photo as well, which this one has a tree in it and a little bit more darker skybox in a sense. This will probably be the border between the forest and the grasslands or the plains, and I think, personally, we will be seeing the big herbivores migrating along these 
these planes in big herds, which I think will be absolutely incredible and will just fit in this game very well. And yeah, I can definitely see these planes being a big hunting ground in the game. And it's going to be interesting overall. Next up, we see two videos. These are for the weather in the game. The first one is Coelophys is sat down in the rain, just chilling. You can see this rain is coming down pretty hard. <laughs> Could this be rain or could this be hail? I don't actually know. It, it's probably just going to be rain. It's probably just rain. Uh, but yeah, this looks really cool. I love how gloomy the world looks when it does rain. It actually gives a feel to the rainstorm and the way this rain is coming down. I can't wait for the sound effects to be in the game for the rain as well. Because I'd love to hear like the pitter patter of the rain hitting off here. The ground, the dinosaur skin, the puddles, the water. It'll be really nice to hear. And of course, we have another brand new video. This one is a rainstorm. But oh wait, there's lightning in this one. And this one looks absolutely badass. Imagine playing in the game it starts raining you know like oh it's just a rainstorm and then suddenly you get struck by lightning i wonder if that's a chance in the game that you could get struck by lightning that would be terrifying that's definitely something that i do not want to happen to me in the game after i got struck by lightning in minecraft and died and lost all my stuff that would be terrible that's a horrible way to die and i don't want that to be in the isles of yore Finally, we have two photos. We These are pretty much the same photos, and these showcase some brand new big plants or big plants that are very slim, big flowering plants, fern-like plants. I don't know what these plants are. If anyone knows what these plants are, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. It would actually, you know, teach me. Teach me about these plants. Uh, but yeah, these look pretty neat, and I love these new screenshots. The world for this game, in my opinion, looks absolutely beautiful. The grass, everything, the lighting, it's just perfect, and it looks so nice. This is something you'd, you'd think you'd see in Path of Titans, The Isle or Beast of Bermuda, but this is in a game being developed by pretty much one person and it's just absolutely incredible i can't wait to see more updates about this game feel free to let me know what you think about these weather updates and the world updates in the comments down below i'd love to see what you guys think about it other than that guys i do hope you enjoyed this video if you do like to see videos like this and want to see more videos across a whole range of upcoming dinosaur games feel free to like and subscribe and also if you want to support the channel further feel free to join as a channel membership that's a £1.99 fee a month it's not that much but it's like a twitch subscription you get some nice cool things but other than that guys if you do enjoy feel free to like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you all in the next one have a great day peace